you guys, Carolyn here. Today I wanted to make a rant video that I have thought about making multiple times and have not done because I'm a pansy. So this is something that I've been wanting to address for a while. And actually the reason I'm finally doing this video was inspired by the fact that I've gotten two people messaging me that they have also had this problem and are wondering what's wrong with this. Um, so today we're going to talk about whether or not you should trade the photo cards you get in your albums. I never thought I'd have to make a video like this. I've been on this channel for a long time and I honestly never thought I'd have to make a video talking about trading photo cards because to be honest, trading photo cards has always been a very accepted thing in the K-pop unboxing community until like last year it suddenly was not okay to trade photo cards anymore so i've had multiple people well not multiple that makes it sound like a lot i've had two people message me saying that they have started k-pop youtube recently and they did unboxings and they wanted to trade their photo card and they got a lot of hate for it and that is the reason i'm making this video because i also get a lot of hate for it but i don't really care about me that much but when other people who see me doing this and start doing, start trading photo cards and get hate for it, that's when I feel like I need to step in and say something. So I have wanted to make this video for a while, but I didn't feel like it was appropriate until now. K-pop albums come with a lot of random things. There are different ways that people collect albums. There are different ways people collect photo cards. Um, there are some people who buy lots of albums. There are some people that only buy a few albums. There are some people who, like everybody collects differently. So for me, I have a large collection. It's just, yeah, it's a lot of albums. I have been trading photo cards since the beginning because the way that I collect photo cards for 95% of the time is I just buy them, I just collect my biases photo cards. So when I don't pull my bias in an album, I tend to want to trade it for my bias. And that has always been an okay thing to do until, like I said, like a year ago. I, I understand the reasoning behind why people don't like it. There are some people who don't buy that many albums who are very happy with whoever they pull. And I'm not unhappy when I don't pull my bias. I just would like to collect my bias. I'm not unhappy with whoever I pull. If I buy a group from an album, it is because I like that group and I do not collect albums from groups who I do not like the members, so. Yeah, that doesn't mean that people I, that groups I don't collect, I have someone I hate in that group. That's not what that means at all, so don't try to twist it that way. When I unbox a group's album, I am happy with whoever I pull because I like all the members. If I do not like all the members of a group, I will not buy the album. Not all the members of a group are my bias. There are There's like one or two groups that I have no bias for, um, and I don't collect their photo cards. So I usually sell them off because I, would, I don't really want to keep them. Um, if I'm not gonna put them in my binder, I don't really see a point in keeping them. There are a lot of people who are not okay with that um, and who think that if you buy an album from a group, you should collect either everyone or you should just keep what you pull. And I get that mentality because you should be happy with whoever you pull. And there are members of every single K-pop group that are more popular than the rest of the members. And when you don't pull that popular member, people get upset and they visibly get upset in their unboxings. And I really hate that when people get upset about pulling someone else who's not their bias. Um, the only time I think I've gotten like very physically, like visibly upset is when I pulled all of Ren's photo cards, not because I hate him, but because I'm literally Ren cursed for New East. I am Ren cursed. I, I don't pull any other members. So it's very funny for me. And, but that's the only time I've been like, maybe not like the happiest. That's the only, but I was not unhappy. I just thought it was hilarious. So I don't know, but um, I don't think there's anything wrong with collecting your bias because usually when I trade photo cards, 90% of the time, I won't say it's 90, I won't say it's 100% of the time, but most of the time when I'm trading with someone, I am trading their bias, the card that I pulled is their bias for my bias who they pulled. So I don't really see the issue in pulling each other's biases and then trading, or I have some friends who when they buy Monster X out, Monster X photo cards, they will trade with me because they know I collect Wano and he is so freaking difficult to collect. He is the one of the major stresses in my photo card collection life is Wono. And they will trade with me for whoever I pulled because they like all the members, they don't really care, but they want to help my collection out, which is super nice. And I've never like 
asked anyone to do that. It's just like, if you don't really care who you pull, you just bought the album to support the group. If you want to trade photo cards, like, let me know. So I'm very, I'm very grateful for my friends for that. I'm not saying I'm ungrateful. I'm very grateful for people for that. Yeah, so that would be like the only time and it happens with other groups. Some like people I've known for years and years and years, like we did not pull each other's biases, but or one person pulls the other person's bias. Say I pull my friend Tundi's bias or a Zapper Seven Love and um, we do a big trade every year. She says, hey, I'll send you this card because I, my other friend has this bias and I'm going to trade her the card you send me for my bias that she has. So that happens to me a lot. Um, but it's never like I'm forcing people to send me their biases or my bias. I'm ever like, oh my gosh, I need to get this card away right now. Like most of the time I like pulling other members because I always stare at the same members photo cards and I always look them up first. So pulling other members like Shonu of Monstax, he has really cute photo cards. So whenever I pull his photo cards and Minhyuk, I'm like, oh my gosh, I pulled the cutest card ever. And like, they're all super cute. So it's good to pull other members photo cards. Also, sometimes you get to pull like the funny card of the set. And I really like that. If I did not want to pull any other member besides my bias, I would buy albums with the photo card already. I do that for Japanese things because Japanese things are really hard to trade for. But yeah, I never do that for Korean things because who has the patience for that? Not me. There are some people who do, but it's not me. So yeah, that's really my thought process. You shouldn't, if you are someone out there who feels like you should keep whoever you get, I don't think you should be going around and comment. You can comment on my videos all you want. I don't really care. But if you comment on other people's videos saying like that they hate the other members, unless they're like very visibly upset, then I can understand that. Though I never want to say that you should leave hate on anyone's videos because putting yourself out on the internet is a pretty scary thing to do. Um, but I'm just saying that maybe you should think about it before you comment. Not everyone thinks the same way as you. There are some people who collect complete groups for everything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? Like I could never. Um, but there are some people who pull cards who never trade them and that's fine with me too. It's fine. Whatever you want to do with your photo cards, you spent money on the album. You're the one who bought the album. It doesn't really, I don't think that trading away for your favorite member would ever hurt someone's feelings unless you were very upset and disappointed about pulling their photo card. That's the only way I could see like members getting upset about things like that. We've seen K-pop idols unbox albums this year who have been upset that they pulled another out another photo card besides themselves of their member, like of the people they live and breathe and eat next to every single day of their lives. They're like, oh, I didn't pull my photo card. I pulled his photo card instead. It's very upsetting. So like, I feel like also K-pop idols, they're bad unboxers. I'm just gonna throw that out there. They make me very stressed the way they unbox albums. Well. Ah, okay. 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 That's okay. It's really okay. It's not really okay to leave hate comments saying that they hate all the members because they wanted to trade somebody else's biases photo card to someone who has their bias. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.